It's been a while since I did a video on emulation here on the channel, but a new Nintendo Switch emulator has recently caught my eye. The emulator is called Cytron, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to download and install a custom Mesa turnip driver within this emulator. You can get Cytron for free over on its Git website. The developers seem to be avoiding GitHub right now, which is likely a smart decision. I'll have this page linked in the video description below, as well as the pinned comment so that it's easy for everyone to find. And you can download this homebrew switch emulator for your Android device from this link here. When you get to the releases page, scroll down through all of these changes and you can find the downloads for this release. Now I recommend grabbing the optimized version of the APK file, but you can also grab the regular mainline release. You'll sideload that APK file just like you would any other application. And after you open it up, you'll begin going through the onboarding process. You'll notice that the application looks quite similar to Yuzu. So you know where the code base is starting from. There are a few sources for these compiled Mesa turnip drivers for the Adreno GPUs used in Snapdragon chips from Qualcomm. I know a developer named Mr. Purple tends to be a popular choice, but I've always leaned toward Kimchi's GitHub page for these drivers as they have performed well and this developer is good at keeping their GitHub page up to date. I'll have this page linked down below as well, and you can download the zip file for the latest turnip driver from here. And you can save that anywhere within the downloads folder for quick access. Once you have everything installed and downloaded, we're gonna launch the Citron application and then tap on the settings tab down here at the bottom. Look for the GPU driver manager option. And from this menu, you can tap on the install button in the bottom right corner. You're gonna see all of the drivers that are currently installed. By default, you're only going to see a system GPU driver. But again, we can tap on this install button that will bring up a file browser where you will want to locate the Mesa turnip driver that was just downloaded. You'll tap it to select it. And if it installs correctly, you'll see it appear here within the GPU driver manager. And after it has been installed, Cytron should switch to it automatically, but you can do this from this page here and you can switch between system GPU driver and the Mesa turnip driver. When we go back, you'll see that change from here as well. So you'll know that it's loading the Mesa turnip driver rather than using the default one. With all of that done, you can now test your Switch homebrew games to make sure everything is working correctly. I have found that these Mesa turnip drivers are great at fixing the graphical issues that games have from time to time, such as textures loading up blank or seeing strange graphics flickering on the screen as you move around. Some will notice a slight performance improvement when switching away from the system GPU driver, but most will see games perform a tiny bit worse which is why it's always a good idea to test out and see which driver works best for certain games on certain phones. Now, as always, if you have any questions about this guide, then feel free to ask in the comment section below. And please do not forget to like this video as it really helps the channel out. And make sure you subscribe as well for more Android emulation tips like this.